Hello everyone, I'm Atelier Toka, Spear Alchemist of Tasker, and welcome to part 67 of Let's Play Shine Resonance of Rain. In this part, um, I think there's some side conversations we can do, I don't know. We might have already done those, those in the last part, but... Okay, yeah, we did those in the last part. So, we need to head to the castle now. I feel like I could have taken this opportunity to grind and do some, some side quests, but, but... I mean, I meant to do that, but I just kind of forgot about it. Oh, there's another side conversation like left that we can do with... Who is it? Is that Fernando? No, it's not Fernando. Yeah, it's Burroughs. Burroughs. Well, let's talk to him. Um, might as well. Excuse me. Hello, Captain. Yuma, you haven't seen Primula around, have you? Primula, she went out back to clean up. Oh, there she is. Ah, Uncle Burroughs. Hi. Aha, there's my girl. You're a little ball of energy as usual, eh, Permula? <laughs> I've always got energy as bear. It's true. Are you here for work? Should I go get Sonia? No, no, I'm not here for work today. Just checking up on you all. Oh, right. I brought you a gift. Here. Are these sweets? Yeah, I love these ones. Thank you, Uncle. Good, good. Just don't tell your mother, mother eh? Yeah, if she found out, she'd probably just put them away. Permula? Yeah! Mom? Dear, what do you agree on with sweets? You promised you wouldn't eat them without telling me, remember? But, Uncle... Yes, Uncle brought them very thoughtfully for you, so let's savor them, okay? Eh... I'll put them in the pantry and can have another after your chores are done, alright? Yes, ma'am. And Uncle, didn't I very simply ask you not to spoil Primula's diet with too much sugar? But Emma, surely just every now and then. I don't always bring her sweets. Okay, fine, I'll be more careful. <laughs> wow. Boris got called out. Giving Primula candy, getting scolded by Emma. I feel like I've seen parts of Captain Burroughs lately that I don't usually see. <laughs> I feel like that's just how he is around... He is around... Han's family. But anyway... It's time to go into the castle. Well, so let's progress the story now. Father, what is it? Did something happen? Sonia, Yuma, I've been waiting. An Imperial envoy just delivered this letter, bearing Princess Excella's signature. An Imperial envoy? Uh, this is the part where I mentioned the envoy was, uh, Beatrice. What? What does the message say? I'm still trying to process it myself. They want peace. An armistice. Huh? Peace? You mean ending the war? So it seems. Listen, and I'll read. I, Excella Noah Aura, in my, my capacities as both a ranking officer and princess of the Great Lombardian Empire, have a proposal for Astorius King. Our country's long-standing conflict has proven itself a loss for both parties, protracted over such a length of time. I wish its end. Pursuant to our terms of armistice, we are prepared to withdraw our forces in full. Terms will be specified at a conference to be held between Astorian and Lombardian representatives. 
The attendees and location of this conference are conditional to several Lombardian interests. These conditions are as follows. First, the conference is to occur in the coral caves of the Sharian coast. Second, the Lombardian delegation will be led by its Princess Excella. And finally, the Astorian delegation will be led by its citizen of recent note, Yuma Ilvern. These are the conditions. Pursuant to the above, if both parties are able to reach a peace agreement, we are prepared to offer in reparation both of the world dragon souls currently in Imperial custody. I await the prudent decision of His Majesty, Excella Noah Aura, First Imperial Princess of the Lombardian Empire. The envoy also mentioned that the conference should take place in secret in order to avoid drawing undue attention. She also said that Yuma is free to bring whomever he pleases as ambassadors. I'm gonna go ahead and say what's on that letter in a whole lot fewer words. Empire's given up, aren't they? Right. Under such strange circumstances, too. If I were their commander, I'd be pressing my advantage, not sacrificing it. They've got, what, three dragon souls now? And they're willing to just give us two of them? Color me suspicious. I wonder why they requested Yuma to be our representative, though. Does this mean they're just after his radiance again? It's a strange way of going about it if they are. They just failed to take him. Or maybe this is because of that. Ugh, there's a lot to unpack. <sighs> I have no idea either, but... I'm leaning toward going along with it. Huh? But... I know it's dangerous. I know it's probably a trap. But... There's a chance, right? There's a chance I could end the war for good. If that's the case, I want to give Ixella the benefit of the doubt. I want to believe she really is proposing a peaceful solution. I'll admit, it's an attractive idea. Father, she said we're allowed to choose who we want to accompany Yuma, right? Yes, it would appear as much. Then there's no reason we shouldn't all go. Even if something were to happen... Yeah, we can still protect Yuma together. Then it's decided, yeah? Your Majesty, send him our answer. We're going. Very well. I'll send a courier to Princess Excella with our official acceptance. And everyone, stay safe out there. Alright. So it looks like I think right. Excella wants to end things with the truce. Alright. So do we do we do we go along with it? Seems like we're accepting, but honestly, truth be told, well I've been this game before. Or back my play to half a decade ago. Oh wait. Oh, I know it's going to happen. And, and we still got two more or chapters to go of story after this. What is it? Yes, but before we get too ahead of ourselves, I do actually want to invite Marion for a night event. What is it? And so we're going to do that. Going to head back to Seagull Inn. And so, let's go talk to Emma. How do you do? Welcome back. And we are going to rest. Good night. Okay. Hey, let's just see where this goes.
I'm here. Oh, there you are. Hey, Marion. Want to talk for a bit? Sure. Oh, yeah. Did you get hurt? Are you okay? Huh? Hurt? No, I'm okay. Why? It looks like you were limping at dinner. Oh, that. It wasn't because I was hurt. I just had a pebble in my shoe, and it was hard to walk. So that's what it was. I was worried. I thought you'd gotten injured or something. Sorry. Sorry I made you worry. No, it's okay. You just seem like the kind of person to keep something like that to yourself, so I thought I'd ask. Thank Yuma. You. Thank you. It's nice knowing that you're watching over me like that. Hey, Yuma. I have a request. Huh? What's up? I want to walk around town together like we did before. Is that okay? Absolutely! Yeah, of course. I had a great time last time, so I'd be happy to do it again. Yeah. I'm so glad. Thank you. Well, I'm going to bed. Good night. Okay, good night. I'll see you again tomorrow. All right, we've got another date with Marion. Okay, there's a shining dragon on the loading screen. Shine and Dargan. <laughs> Oh, she totally knows what we're up to. Emma knows, guys. She knows. Oh, we've got a side All conversation right. we can access. That's with Kirika, it looks like. So, let's go talk to her. Uh, if I could get around that, that easily... And I could have if I had turned around sooner. Did you need something? Her butt. Let's just talk to her. Kirika and Marion are enjoying a quiet meal together. That's fine, but the problem is what's on the plates. Kirika's plate is getting a lot less orange, and it's going straight to Marion's. Kirika must be using teleportation magic on the carrots. Um, Marion, your food. Yuma! Uh, don't look at me like that. What's wrong, Yuma? What about the food? Oh, nothing. Never mind. Is it, uh, good? Yes, the nutritional value is adequate. As for a taste, I believe the general consensus would be that it's delicious. So that means you like it. Yes, I as well. Agam's cooking is impeccable as always. You say that, but you're going to a lot of trouble to avoid eating it. And does Marion really not notice the carrots? It has turned into a pretty noticeable pile now. All finished. Huh? There's still a ton of carrots on your plate. There's not leave food on your plate, Marion. You might hurt Agam's feelings. I'm not leaving them. I'm giving them back to you, Kirika. What? These are all Kirikas. If I already see my recommended intake of carrots. So, you noticed? Yeah, I saw my carrots increasing and Kirika's decreasing. Even though she wasn't eating any. It was pretty obvious. But no! I would never do such a thing. Besides, I am not the only one who can use teleportation magic. Ah, oh, Kirika! Uh, we know what you're like. Rina's out on Aaron, and Agnum left to buy more seasoning became because he ran out. And nobody said anything about using teleportation magic except you. Uh Looks like the cat's out of the bag now. Let's just have to give up and eat some Kirika. No, no. But carrots are good for you. Taint Marion's trait carrot returner. <laughs> Tedious use of magic indeed. Did you need something? Anyway, we need to head back to Castlefront uh, and to start a date with Marion. And, and there's probably some, some side conversations over there, too. So, I want to look at that, that, that as well. Genus is on the lane screen. Oh! Nothing. All right. Okay. So, there's just the date with Marion. What is 
it. Let's give her a good time. Hey, Marion. Hello. Yuma, we should go hang out. Like we promised, right? Well, if you have time right now. Yes. I do. And if you do too, that means it's good timing. Yeah, I've got tons of time. Let's go. Yeah. That's great. Okay, let's go. All right. Let's go over to the lookout right. first. There's a sense in this area. Okay. Hey, Yuma, the other day I saw someone sleeping in an uncomfortable position here. A woman sitting in the man's lying down and he has head on her lap. Why would he sleep like that? Well, um, that's what female couples like doing. Oh, we've seen this one already. I see. I see. Should we try it? And if you want, someday. Oh no. Oh. Oh. Yes. Marion's too pure for this, viewers. As well. <laughs> Let's go downtown. There's nothing else we can do here. Okay. The sick goes on the lonely screen. Right. Hi. Let's go over to the marketplace. There we are! Now let's stop at this doll. Oh, the furniture. Yuma, look. The clothing store is selling a really big sweater. Is it an effective product? I don't think so. I assume it's just really big people. Well, but I've never seen anyone that big in this city. <laughs> Might be for two people. You and I wore it together. It fit per perfectly. Uh-oh, uh-oh, oh no. That, uh, I'm not sure. I've never seen two people in a single slider before. <laughs> not just sound. It's, it's all kinds of things of, of weird. I wonder who would be into that. That, I just imagine the kind of things people would do. Come take a look. Who, who in a slider for two and... A lot of them are really a buy. Look, there's a weird-looking fruit over there. You're right, it's a star fruit. Great. Looks like you're sick in our raw and use it as a weapon. Fruit hammer. Sounds strong. <laughs> uh, I don't know about that. There's always so many people here. I wonder what they're all doing. Probably the same things as us. Walking, talking, relaxing in the shade. Going on dates? I... yeah. That too, probably. It's, it's so, so weird hearing Marion talk about dates, dates so casually. casually. I can't tell if she realizes all the implications of it. Hi, mister. Hi, miss. Hi. Where are you two going in such a hurry? We heard a lot of tree nuts fell down around that tree. You want to come pick them up with us? Um, sorry. I'm taking Marion around town and... I don't mind. Let's go pick up tree nuts with the kids. Huh. You don't mind? No. I guess it's fine if Marion wants to. I was kind of hoping for some time alone with her, but... at all of them. Can we really take them all? Yeah. 
you can have the ones that me and Yuma picked up too. Yay! Thank you, thank you, thank you! I love you! Aww. I love you guys too! Thank you! See you! <laughs> You're welcome. See you later. Bye. I love you, Yuma. Wait, I... you... Marion, where did that come from? Huh? It came from me. When I heard the kids say they love you, I felt like saying it too. I... I see. I was just... surprised. My heart is pounding. I love you, Yuma. Huh. That's weird. My heart is pounding too. Yeah, I can still feel mine. And there's Sony on the line screen. Seems very straight, quite jealousy. Oh no. Oh, what's going to happen with Marion right. now? Oh, there's the sicko again. And, and, uh, on the loading screen again. But real quick, I, think, I, think I want to see if, if we'll get any dialogue uh, great from going out. Uh, Going out, out into the field. Field because I don't remember. Oh. Your Highness, a messenger from Astoria has arrived. It looks like they're agreeing to parlay. I see. I suppose we should set out for these coral caves then. Are you sure, Your Highness? Can we really trust him? Who? The Dragon Slayer? Yes. Let's just say it's... probably not the best idea to trust someone like that. He keeps too many secrets. I'd file Georg under secretive as well, you realize. In fact, he fits the definition far more than the Slayer does. Just call me suspicious that he's not engaging in good faith. Well, yes. I find myself skeptical of the totality of Genus's claims, to be sure, but... I knew at least some of what he said would have genuine merit. So I'm taking it upon myself to sort truths from falsehoods. That is all. I see. I guess I can accept that. Just remember, if anything happens out there, I'll keep you safe, Your Highness. Hmm? Oh, enough. Your concern is appreciated, but unnecessary. You are a citizen of my father's empire, and I its crown princess. It's my duty to protect you, if anything. <laughs> By your command, then. I'll try not to put myself in... <sighs> undue danger. See that you don't. I do not care to entertain the thought of losing you. Now, let's be off. Okay. Hey, I kind of felt like I think we'd get a bit of story upon leaving town. Oh, and I want to make sure I was remembering right. Okay, but, yeah. Uh, uh, we do get some story okay, right as soon as we leave town. But, in the How next part... You? We will be going, going to the Coral Caves. Okay, to begin peace, peace negotiations with Excella. And until then, I am Atele Toka, Spirit Officer Tasker, and I am going to go touch grass.